Welcome to this edition of Ringside Seat. I'm your host, Anthony Ringside Ivy. And on this edition, we have heavyweight prospect Lenroy Thomas, 14 and 1, 8 knockouts. 15 and 1. 15 and 1, 8 <laughs> knockouts. My bad. 15 and 1, 8 knockouts. <laughs> 15 and 1, 9 knockouts. He'll be, on, he'll be at the Allen Park Pavilion this Friday in a scheduled A rounder. Now, one where I want to talk to you a little bit, I want to start at the beginning. How did you get involved in boxing? Uh, I used to play football. Um, I was an All-American football player, and I think it was my 14th birthday. I saw Evander Holyfield and the next Lewis fight um, in Madison Square Garden. I was watching it on TV, and I decided that's something I want to do. And ever since then, you know, I just hit the gym and never turned back. Okay, great, great. How did you get your start? Like, which gym? Who was the trainer that kind of took you under your way? I uh, started at St. Pete Boxing Club over there with uh, Mike Birmingham, Joe, and Dan Birmingham. I met um, Mike first because Dan, you know, Dan was there. And then I introduced to Joe Fox, and then, you know, later on I got introduced to Dan and we developed a chemistry, you know, since then we've been rolling. Great, great. What was your amateur career like? Uh, it wasn't long. Um, I had 13, 13 amateur fights, went to the national, um, ranked uh, I think number two or number two and number four for a while, and just turned pro, uh, turned pro after that. Great, great. Now your pro debut, you lost a really close decision, but you rattled off 15 straight victories since then. So you're pretty much like right outside that top 20. What, what are you playing for this year? What's your move? What's your schedule like? Man, my schedule with my promotion team, uh, TK Promotion, who did an excellent job the way how they marketed me and moved me. You know, they just give me the date and I do my part. You know, let them handle, you know, because they know the direction where I want to go. And uh, with Chet Kerner, uh, Twin Tran, and uh, Chris Mendo, those guys do an excellent job of moving me and matching me right. So I can develop and at the same time, you know, take a step up. Great, great. Now, speaking of TK, <clears throat> you being a heavyweight, you were recorded by a lot of big promoters. Why did you end up going with TK? What was the deciding factor? TK is my family. Um, I know those guys before the company started, and those guys have done so much for me. I mean, why break it? If it ain't, you know, if it ain't broken, why fix it? So I just continue on working with them, and they stuck it out with me. Even when I got sick, you remember when you know, I got sick with my thyroid, got down to 190 pounds, and those guys never turned it back on me. You know what I mean? So, you know, they're looking out for my best interest. You know, the big promoters, you know, they're all about getting in on the money, and, you know, these guys are genuine. Care. These guys are family, so you know that's where I want to be. I'm comfortable working with them. Great, great. Now, what about this coming Friday? Do you have an opponent? Yes, uh, Mario is Escaza or something like that. Uh, he's from uh, from Texas. <coughs> um, he won a uh, silver medals in um, I think the Puerto Rico Golden Gloves or Olympics or something like that. Um, I know he's right-handed. Um, he's you know it's a guy that come at you, throw a lot of punches, but brilliant. Great, great. Any predictions? Man, look, just come on out and check the show out. It's, it's going to be, you yeah, haven't seen me fight in a while, and trust me, you're going to be impressed. Great. I'll let my action speak for itself. Excellent, excellent. Is there anything you want to say in closing? Oh, yeah, man. Just any kids out there who have a dream and a goal, just believe in yourself, you know, because they told me that I would never make it this far. Uh, they told me three, four years ago that I'd be nothing, but look at me now, I'm still going, you know, just with the grace of God and people who I have around me, so don't give up. Not only kids, grown folks too. If you got a dream, you know, let's go after it. If you fail on, get up and keep on going, you know. Let's come to the next seal and shout out to TKO. Great, great. Well, you heard it, Lenroy Thomas, heavyweight contender, 15-1, and one, nine knockouts fighting at the Alicard Pavilion this Friday. Come out and support him, he's a great fighter. See you next time.